Let's talk about case management in Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations app. First, I navigate to Organization Administration and expand Setup, then the Cases. Here is where you can configure components of the case management. You may wonder, what can you do with the case management? By using this feature, you can create cases for the issues a strike during the course of your business, such as record, update, track, follow up on, and close the issues that are raised by your customers, vendors, employees, or even cases that are created through your audit processes. By planning, tracking, and analyzing cases, you can develop efficient resolutions that can be used for similar issues. You can use the case functionality to resolve both issues that are external to your organization and internal issues. Let's first take a look at case categories. These category types allow you to organize your cases related to the business processes. For example, if there is an issue within the production line, surely you should select production as the main category type. And under that, you can create a variety of different subcategories with different names, but they're all related to the parent category as type production. For this demonstration, I expand the general. As part of the demo data, as you notice, the category type is general. The name is general also for generally available cases. As you notice, you can change the category type or parent category after you save this specific subcategory. Within the hierarchical level, once the general subcategory is selected, if I click new, you notice that the category type and parent category are already selected and I cannot change them. However, I can specify a new name for this new case category. For the moment, I delete this record. For each case category, you can assign an owner to be the worker and set up the default department for this category. Optionally, under the follow up group, you can associate an email ID for correspondence. If you have already designed questionnaire, you can associate it with the case category. A case category could have a default case process assigned to it. The case process usually should set up processes that employees must follow for the case that are opened in your organization. Processes help guarantee consistency for the people who are involved in the cases. Here, you can assign a case process as a default for this specific case category. You can also assign a service level agreement which defines the level of service you expect from a vendor or a customer expects from you. In other words, the service level agreement laying out the metrics by which the service is measured. For example, you could have a service level agreement that you will respond back to the case which identifies the issue within three hours with a specific price or within 24 hours with a different price. As part of project operations or project accounting and management in finance and operation apps, we talk more about service level agreements, which also will be discussed as part of service management module of finance and operations app. By expanding the activities fast app, you can define whether or not an activity can be created automatically for this case. Only appropriate employees in an organization should have access to cases and related information. To control which employees have access to view, create, and update different types of cases, you can assign security roles to case category types. 
you have to make a decision which security roles should have access to available category types for each specific category type that is available out of the box that are listed here from general to FMLA, which stands for Family and Medical Leave Act. I'll go back to Organization Administration, and this time I click on Case Category Type Security. Here is where you can assign a case category and decide which security roles can manage the cases related to this specific case category. As a personnel who is responsible to work with cases, I can go to the common module and expand cases. Here you can see all cases that are assigned to you as an employee, those that are still open, those that are open and belong to you, any cases that are overdue and you have not addressed them on time, if there is any case has been assigned through a workflow to you, and the cases that are assigned to a queue that you're a member of. As part of our workflow video, you learn how to work with creation and using the workflow in finance and operation. Needless to say, you have a node in which you can click on all cases and view available cases within the system. I can create a brand new case or a dependent case. The difference here is if I click on a case as new, you can specify the name, and a case category. If I cancel it and click on new, if I select the dependent case, in this scenario, since I've already highlighted a Sparrow retail, the name automatically has been picked up. It creates a brand new case ID as a dependent case for case ID 0001. In order to show you that within the detail page of the product information, I can select general from the action pane and within the product information, I could create a case right off of here or view all the cases that relates to this product from this specific page as well. By clicking on all cases, you only see the case that is related to this specific item, which happens to be the case that I just made. By going back to the case ID, I'm back to the original page. As part of the service level agreement, the work that you do in order to resolve the issue may be billable to a customer. Therefore, you have a capability to record the time that you're working within this case. Could be even the time that you spend over the phone with the customer. You can change the status of the case by selecting the change status dropdown. By going through this demonstration, you have already seen how to work with the case management by configuring it, creating the case, and managing it.